I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. In a surprise announcement, NASA revealed a new name for its moon program, Artemis. She is a Greek goddess of the moon and twin sister of Apollo. Well, NASA picked the name in hopes of having the first woman land on the moon by 2024. I'm retired astronaut Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger. I was at NASA from 2004 until 2014 and flew on the Space Shuttle Discovery in April of 2010. Hi, my name is Flora Pumbi. I'm an aspiring astronaut and an employee at SpaceX. Um, I work as a manufacturing engineer for propulsion cell assemblies for the Merlin rocket engines on Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. As an astrobiologist, someone who studies the potential of life beyond Earth, I'm driven by a passion to know what's out there beyond our own planet. Currently, I work as a quantum space technologies developer, jointly with the space company called Craft Prospect Limited, which is based in Glasgow in Scotland. I've always been motivated by trying to learn more and, and just curiosity. I'm inspired by seeing the excitement and enthusiasm of someone who's just learned something new about space or science in general. And I love being able to teach people exciting new things. One of my first role models was Kalpana Chawla. Uh, I think she was one of the first Indian women to go into space on the space shuttle Columbia, which unfortunately uh, exploded. Um, it was a very, very sad moment for all of India, but Kalpana Chawla um, really ignited the passion for space science and being an astronaut in many, many Indian men and women. I think my biggest form of motivation is my dream of becoming an astronaut. At the age of 13, I met with Colonel James Voss and Joseph R. Tanner, two former NASA astronauts, who inspired me to become an astronaut myself when I grew up. They have since continued to be mentors, talked to me, coached me, and even now we still stay in touch. I think curiosity is really important for an astronaut and any scientist of any form. I think what I love most about space and our universe is that even though we're all individuals with our own lives and our own struggles, we're really made of stars and we're recycled energy. And we've been moving through this universe for millions of years and will continue to do so long after we're gone. The universe is infinite. It belongs to everyone. No matter men or women, everybody has the right to study and research about anything in science. All of the elements that we find on Earth that make up everything around us were made in space which means that every rock, flower, and person that we find on the Earth is connected by this commonality that we are all made from stardust. Women have definitely faced discrimination just in general because of what we were allowed to even become. And that keeps evolving, and thankfully there have been women that went before, women that engaged so I could have the vote, women who engaged so that I could even be a part of NASA as they were hired in that first 1978 class, um, women who went on in the military to show that women can fly combat missions and high performance aircraft. But it takes these pioneering women, these women who have bucked up against stereotypes to have made and paved the way for us. And still women are in the minority in the jobs that we hold in the STEM fields, but that's changing and shifting. And I think that holds a lot of promise for the girls of the future. I think female representation in STEM, especially within the space field, is incredibly important. I think women bring a completely different set of skills to the table and having them work with men means that we're going to have more innovation, more discoveries, and a lot more teamwork. When I went to pilot school, 
I would have a lot of outsider men say, well, oh, that's cute, or good for you for trying, or I flew with a female pilot once and it, it wasn't so bad. And I realized there really was a huge disparity of women in the STEM field. For example, only 5% of the world's pilots are female. And that has only grown by 3% in two decades. As we know, women have achieved so many success in the field of astronomy and physics. I hope that everyone could be able to enjoy observing or uh, imaging celestial objects and to keep in their minds the glorious beauty of the night sky. I think the best and most important piece of advice that I was given came from my parents and that was that they always wanted me to do my best. And I think doing your best means working hard, remaining engaged in what you're doing and passionate about it, but also recognizing it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, we learn from mistakes. That's been tricky for me because of course I sometimes equate best with perfect. But that advice has kept me going through many things that I've done, not just be, being an astronaut, but being a teacher, a mom, um, a spouse, and a current geologist. There's a lot of advice I would give the younger students, particularly women who are interested in going into the STEM fields. The biggest thing is to start growing your network now. Go talk to people in these fields. Start making connections between people around you. Trust me, they're going to be the ones that are going to help you, teach you, encourage you, motivate you throughout your life. If you're interested in a career in space, don't let anything or anyone put you off your own dreams. Just be yourself, because that's who's going to get you to where you want to be. Go for it. You are going to be the next phase of uh, careers in space. You are going to be the next astronaut. You are going to be the next researcher. You are going to be the next Stephen Hawking. I would say absolutely go for it. You will be amazed at what you learn, the challenges that you will face, um, and how it will improve you, and the contributions that you can stand to make. So absolutely go for it.